Hey everybody, I'm back with an update regarding the Layla Rashawn and Anton Fuqua scandal. Now those of you unfamiliar with what's going on, I'm going to give you a little recap. Okay, Layla Rashawn, as we know, is a famous Haitian American, Black American actress from the 1990s. She's well known for her beauty as well as the fame, her famous role in Waiting to Excel along the late great Whitney Houston. Now she married director Antoine Fuqua and he's famous for his film, directing the film Training Day with Denzel Washington. It won Denzel an Oscar. Now Antoine Fuqua, her husband, was recently caught cheating with Nicole Murphy. Now Nicole Murphy is famous for being Eddie Murphy's ex-wife and she's famous for but you know, she's an inspiration to many women over the age of 50 older women who are keeping their body right. She's known for her good looks and she has five kids. So a lot of people are always in awe of how she's keeping her body in shape and everything like that. And they liked her personality. Now, some people don't feel Nicole is all that looking. Some think she's overrated. Everybody has a different opinion. I personally find her to be a very beautiful woman. Now... The story first hit, I don't know if it was on The Shade Room, Love B. Scott, or Media Takeout. But all I know is that Layla Rashawn, after the scandal hit, she was humiliated. She deactivated her Instagram account, her social media. Now, word on the street is that Layla Rashawn was with Antoine. I'm not sure if, if it was Antoine, but she was... I think it was him or maybe her ex or something, but um, reportedly she was with him when he was either married already or had a girlfriend. So some people don't feel any sympathy for Layla Rashawn right now. Now, Nicole Murphy, her Instagram and social media remains up. She claims that she was a family friend, but didn't know that Antoine was married. She said she thought he was single. Let's be real here. She said this to save face. Now Lisa Ray, the famous actress, she even said that Nicole Murphy slept with her husband. Now uh, Nicole Murphy was also allegedly creeping with Carmelo Anthony. Now Carmelo Anthony is married to Lala and Carme Carmelo Anthony was also recently caught creeping on Lala with a whole different woman on a boat. So Nicole Murphy's reputation is not looking good, too good right now. This situation, like I said, only shows that you can trust no one. If you didn't see that video, go on my channel and check it out. You can't trust no man. Every woman should know this. I know there's a lot of women who swears, oh, not all men cheat. I'm sorry to tell you, but a high percentage of them do. Now, Media Takeout is reporting the story that Layla is deciding to stay with Antoine, that they've been married for 20 years, yada, yada, yada. Now, the Media Takeout sources, one of them is supposedly a friend of Layla Rashawn's. And Media Takeout is reporting that Layla Rashawn is leaning on her friends for support, such as Pauletta Washington, who is Denzel Washington's wife. Now, this is interesting because the word on the street, allegedly, Denzel Washington was creeping on Pauletta with Sana Lathan. Now, I don't know how true that is. That's just a rumor that I heard years ago that he was cheating on her with Sana Lathan. So if that's true, Pauletta knows all about this. Now, let me read you what it says on Media Takeout, what her friend is saying. Okay, her friend is saying that Layla could end her marriage, but for what? As soon as she would leave, that thought Nicole Murphy would get her husband. Well, if, if Nicole could get him after this situation, then clearly he don't give a damn about Layla. That's who he really wants to be with if he can just go and get the woman that humiliated her all over the place. And this sounds like, what, is she fighting for this no good man? I mean, seriously, you know, let me tell you something, a true, true story. I know a woman who her man would pay all her bills and she didn't really have to worry. He wasn't rich, but he wasn't poor. And she decided after years of being with the man, she had enough because he keeps cheating. So she decided to leave and he said, now this guy 
in the black community is considered a square, a lame, and all of that. He's not a thug. He doesn't smoke. He doesn't curse. He's into all types of stuff that typical black men aren't into. He would be what be what, what he would be what's considered a good catch. And she was with him for years. And when she decided to leave, he told her, what are you going to leave me for? Because the next man is just going to do the same thing. So basically, he was telling her, all men are going to cheat. So why leave me if I'm the one taking care of you and you don't have to worry about anything? Basically, just deal with it. I don't know how many women would be comfortable knowing while you're laying in bed and your man says he's going out. And he doesn't tell you where he's going and you know he's probably out there screwing another woman as you're watching TV then coming back home to you. That's too much for a lot of women to bear when they actually know about it. When they actually know. Again, what are you willing to accept? Would you want the broke man who's cheating on you? Or would you want the rich man who's cheating on you while you still get to enjoy the comforts of this world? Um, not every woman can deal with it. Not every woman can. So, the friend of Layla Rashawn said on Media Takeout, she continued to say that it was a mistake. It was a mistake. Antoine loves his wife and his family, and they are in counseling with their church. Now, that part tripped me out. A mistake. He cheated on her 15 years ago and made an outside baby. One of the worst things a man can do. To me, that's heartbreaking if your husband makes another baby with another woman. He did that to her not only one time, he did it to her twice. The first woman was a Hispanic woman and the other woman was a British woman. Now the money that should be going to her now has to go to those children. What, $10,000 a month reportedly? He supposedly wanted it lower to $3,000 a month. So he's cheated on her behind twice. Twice. So it's not a mistake. It keeps happening. Over the years, it keeps happening. And counseling with the church, like I said in my other video, if you didn't see it, there's not, not a damn thing you can do to stop a man from cheating. The church can't do it. If the church can't even stop these gay men from creeping on their wives, giving them HIV. They go to the church all the time with their wives and they still sleeping with men. The church is not going to get a man to stop cheating. I'm sorry to tell you this. There is nothing that church is going to do to stop this serial cheater from cheating on Layla. Nothing. Now she can go ahead and try to convince herself of this and think he's going to be saved and everything like that. But I'm sorry, I don't really think so. The friend also said that Layla will only take Antoine back if he can remain faithful. They have a real marriage, not a Hollywood one. She well, supposedly Layla, ha Layla has already taken the man back and she can't prove that that man is going to stay faithful. But she, she wants him back. The friend doesn't have to say this. She's taken him back. Okay. He has already proven he can't remain faithful. The man made two doggone babies outside of your marriage. Now he's been caught. Both of them in their 50s. Older people. They're not super old. I don't consider 50 old. Middle age or whatever, but not old. But out there in Italy. You know? Humiliating. Spending your money that's supposed to be going to you. Spending it on another woman. Another woman. That, bo that would bother me. You spending my money, yes, his money, my money on another woman? I don't think so. Now, Nicole was just the one we know of. But this man has a history. I wouldn't be shocked if there's more side pieces in the background that just haven't come out yet. And I won't be shocked if the man continues after this scandal. After it dies down a little bit, he continues to do it again. This man is a man with wealth. He has options, you know, and he has exercised those options. And he doesn't, he did not honor his marriage 15 years ago. And he's not honoring his marriage in 2019. Okay, he already did the worst thing, which was bring a baby home. The second worst thing is bring an HIV home. I mean, the man already is, he already made babies. So he clearly doesn't believe in using protection when he's cheating on his wife. He's in, you know, stuff like this. The black woman is in danger. Okay, look at the HIV stats, what's going on. 
a lot of black wives have gotten this from their doggone husbands okay those of you again unfamiliar with walter lee hampton's page go on youtube and go to walter lee hampton's page and check it out okay so media takeout says that um they won't criticize you know look layla rashawn for this because they've been married for 20 years they're both christians and they have a beautiful family now i won't judge layla rashawn because this is her life this is her decision okay many people say what they would do until they get into a situation and then it's a different story you know but women are always the one to take a man back but how many men especially black men would stay with their wives after she's been caught in another country with another man with it splattered all over the internet how many i have to say i don't believe that many men would be forgiving it's always the woman that has to forgive and has to stay strong and put up with every damn thing okay a lot of men don't honor their marriages, especially black men don't. I don't care what a number of them say. I know this for a fact. Many of they don't even honor their, their, their relationships when they have one with the girlfriend. They have side pieces. They cheat all over the place. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you what I know. Okay. I remember um, one of my friends, her white boyfriend, got arrested for a DUI and was put into jail. Not prison, but jail or whatever. And he came back and told us that the black men that were in there, which were the majority, the topic of discussion was how to cheat on your girl without getting caught. With them exchanging ideas on what to do, you know. A number, and I know this from experience, a number of black men who have had women have tried to talk to me. I'm not saying all black men. I know men in general, there's a high amount of them who cheat. Okay. But I'm telling you, ladies, especially black women, don't be naive. Just don't be naive. Okay. Now, it must be some love for Layla because Antoine has money. But so does Layla Rashawn. Layla Rashawn is reportedly supposedly worth almost about $10 million. I don't know if it's that much. It could be less, but supposedly she's not broke. So she could leave. And I understand they have children. And I can't imagine the embarrassment that their children must be feeling to see their dad all over the internet with a woman that's not their mother. Okay? It's, it's humiliating. So... Again, I do think there's more side pieces that he has. Um, I don't think it was just Nicole. And I personally don't believe that this man is going to stop cheating. Now, I could be wrong, but I just, I don't believe it. So this is Layla Rashawn's decision. We will see. We'll see if she activates her Instagram again. And, um, you know... Maybe Layla is one of those women that's just living in denial. The two babies he made outside the marriage didn't teach her a lesson. It didn't teach her. And now he's doing it again. And she believes that the church is going to save her cheating husband. from change. He's going to stop him and change his ways and everything like that. I highly doubt it. You know. And um, again, it's every woman's life, every woman's own decision. If she wants to put up with it or give him another chance, that's her decision. I don't know if it could be me. So leave your comments below. If you're new to my channel, like, share, and subscribe. And check out my other videos. And, um, you know, I think some of my videos might change some of your lives. So check them out. Peace, everybody.